Scary. ETSU Bluegrass Pride Band on WNCW. Nothing like starting off a Studio B session with a murder battle, right? You know, I we, we are a bluegrass band. So. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You got to do it sometimes, yeah. right? Yeah, it's just part of it. That's the voice of Becky Buller here in Studio B. Joe Green with her and the band today. Welcome. It is so great to have you back. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Sean. We And, and the crew here. We yes. are so glad to be back at WNCW. If you're watching this, a video provided to you by our broadcast production technology students. We got Wesley Elam here to my right. And B-Town over on the... Thank y'all so much for being in here. A curly girl. A fellow curly girl. Yes. Gotta love the curls. Yes. And a man who is no stranger to curls himself, Sean Rubin at the controls today at the desk. Strange curls. They're just real fine, baby fine. That sounds like a band name. <laughs> Strange curls. I collect band names. <laughs> well, that's a that's a cool thing to collect. Mm-hmm. We like the Becky Buller band today and every day. Oh, so thank you. I'm glad you chose that thank one you. for for your band. I know my mom said uh, when I started the band, she's like, "You need to be Becky Buller and something else. You need a, a name." I'm like, "Mom, everything's taken. Mm. Absolutely everything." It is. Yeah. Uh, well. Well, they retired Quicksilver. Maybe Doyle would let you use that. I don't know. I, 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 yeah, I think that could get weird. That could, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of bands and, um, well, Becky Buller band today, introduce the players that are with us in here. Sure. Down here on my right, he uh, coordinates Chicken by Day for Springer Mountain Farms Chicken in Gainesville, Georgia, Woo. and picks the mandolin with us by night. Please make welcome Wesley. Thank you. And he is a 2001 Merle Fest mandolin champ. I'm not surprised at all. Yeah. <laughs> and on guitar, helping us out for the month of December, he and his wife Melody had the fantastic band Front Country. Yes. He also plays with uh, Americana artist Rachel Bayman. Mr. Jacob Groupman on the guitar. Welcome, Jacob. Thank you. <laughs> Was that a G run? Sort of. Oh, okay. <laughs> I <laughs> failed, but it's okay. Back here on the bass, <laughs> he is on loan to us from the Sam Bush Band, and he is probably the most educated guy in bluegrass music. He has master's degrees in classical and jazz music. Mr. Todd Parks. Yep. All right, Todd. And who, I don't know this fella on the banjo over here. He looks like he might be a fellow radio guy, though. How can you tell? I don't know. It's just that look. Let's get that look. Yeah. Face made for radio. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he is one of our favorite voices on Sirius XM Satellite Radio's Bluegrass Junction. And he is your 2018 IBMA Banjo Player of the Year. That Oh, that's right. We I like to say he's an intergalactic DJ. Intergalactic. Yes, because he broadcasts from space. Yes, extraterrestrial intergalactic DJ, Mr. Ned Luberecki. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, folks who are listening to my show, was it yesterday? I lose track of days because of my age and all. Uh, uh, but it was one day this week was uh, Brubeck's birthday, and I played played your version of Take Five. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's the title cut of... His album, yes, yeah. Ned's album, sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, welcome all. Thank you. Live Studio B sessions on WNCW, made possible by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. And I think you're going to do one of my favorites off the new holiday album, right? Yes. I mean, I'm glad you like it, because people either love this song or they hate this song. There is no in-between. The good news is it's a new and fresh interpretation of this song. Yes, we hope that you will uh, give it uh, a listen with an open mind and fresh ears and hope that you'll sing along with us, sure. whether you're watching us on the socials or you're listening out there in radio land. We no know fear. I'm not going to sing along because i got a live mic. Here, we so know I... that you know this one. Kick it off, Wes. Two, three, four. <laughs> Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Once bitten and twice as shy, I 
keep my distance, but you still catch my eye. Tell me, baby, do you recognize me? It's been a year, it doesn't surprise me. Happy Christmas. I wrapped it up and sent it with notes and a love you and a man. Now I know what a fool I've been, but if you kiss me now, I know you'll fool me again. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Crowded room, friends with tired eyes I'm hiding from you And your soul of ice I thought you were someone to rely on me I guess it was just a shoulder to cry on A face so a lover with a fire in her heart A girl undercover but you tore me apart I know what a fool I've been But now I've found true love You'll never fool me again I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. This year to save me from tears. Last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. This year to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Hey, Becky Buller Band here in Studio B on WNCW. I think George, Mike, the late George Michael, if he was here, I think he would really enjoy that version oh, I hope of the so. song. I <laughs> yeah. hope so. And I oh. hope all the Wham fans out there are digging it. Oh, sure. <laughs> and, sure. Uh, and I do want to tell you, if you're playing Whamageddon this holiday season, don't fear. Covers do not count against you. <laughs> and if you don't know what Whamageddon is, it's... Um, you see how deep you can get into the holiday season before you hear the original version of The Last Christmas. <laughs> when you hear it, then you post, I've been through Whamageddon. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have. I think I've already been. You have. I, I don't think I have, actually. Radio in my car accidentally stopped on a, a local radio station uh -huh. other than us the other night. And there it was. And there oh, it was. Right ah, there. Should have stayed tuned to WNCW 88.7. And online at WNCW.org. Do not hit scan or search because you'll land on the Christmas station who started on October 30th playing Christmas yeah, music. Yeah. It's, this has been so weird for me because, of course, I've been having to learn my Christmas record so that this is the first time I've had a Christmas album. And uh, the first time I've done Christmas shows, and so I've been, you know, stuffing my brain full of Christmas music, and and so I feel like we should be coming to the end of the Christmas season, and here we are, just at the top of December. Well, I hope it doesn't come to an end yet, because I haven't finished shopping. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I shop all year long. I'm, I'm always on the lookout for stuff, and I squirrel it away <laughs> at the house. 
Yeah. Uh, well, uh, you all have been playing some Christmas shows. I mean, you 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 had time to stop in and be with us today, and we appreciate yeah, that. I'm talking with Becky Bowler, us. by the way. Thank you. Uh, I know been... you guys have some big stuff tomorrow, so thank you for squeezing us in. Yes. <laughs> Sean's going to be a busy man up in Asheville. I heard that. Christmas pre-jam. Yes, yeah. yeah. Warren Haynes and gang up yeah. there. So you all have been doing some shows with my pals New Blue, right? Yes, from over in Siler City, North Carolina, our friends New Blue. And uh, we've got uh, one more show with them on our Happy Christmas Tour 2022. We're headed up to Abingdon, Virginia tomorrow night to the Southwest Virginia Cultural Center and Marketplace oh in beautiful, historic Abingdon, Virginia. Ah. Please come on out. Showtime is at 7 o'clock. Ah. And uh, we're doing something really fun and kind of crazy. Um We've got both bands on stage, and we're singing together, and we're trading off songs, and there's lots of music and mayhem, as uh, those of you who have been following us mm. al- already have come to expect from the band and I. Uh, so, yeah, please please come on out and hang with Do us. Do me a favor and give Sweet Carolyn a hug for me, if you think of it. I appreciate it. I will. It. Yeah. I will. Uh, Daniel, I don't know if you need to hug him for <laughs> okay. me, but... But yeah, I love them both to death. They're okay. awesome. Uh, Justin and, and Austin are fun too. I've been trying to carve out time. Oh, they are. Yeah. Uh, trying to carve out time to go to Siler City and have a famous Johnson's cheeseburger. You know what? There. I need to as well. Um, so what they are they cel- did they just celebrate seventy five years? Something in like business, that. I think Carolyn said. Yeah. So family owned and operated all that time. Yeah. So yes, I need to. Stop in for sure. one of their cheese. Have a great show. Too. That's tomorrow night's your last show for the season, right? Uh, it is, yeah. And then after that, we'll have one more thing. And actually, I think out of this crew, the only one that'll be with me is Jacob. Thank you very much. Uh, but we're gonna do a, a little thing for WSMV TV in Nashville on mm. December 22nd. We're gonna be on the Nashville Today Show. Cool. And just you know, doing a couple songs from the new record. And awesome. Then that afternoon, I fly to. To back home, up home to Minnesota. Oh, well, okay, mm-hmm. okay. Um, I was noticing, and I hope folks are able to watch online, you know, the video portion and see you, because I don't care where I see you, whether it's in one of our little closed studios like this, up on a big stage, you see Becky performing. She does the whole show, dances and uh, the whole thing. You are. <laughs> Uh, energetic as can be, and it's it's infectious. This move, it, this music moves me, Joe. Yeah, it, it tells me to go out and be somebody. I was thinking we we featured your holiday album, The Perfect Gift, on New, <laughs> new Tunes at Two yesterday. Thank you. And I was thinking about it, while I was listening to it. You know, I've I've seen you perform a number of times, of course, and and I always think of that energy. And it's the same when I think about Sam Bush. You've worked with Sam Bush a bunch of times, and he's like that. I think the two of you together, your energy could probably power you know, a decent sized town, if it could be <laughs> bottled up. I don't know where you find it. And it, where do you find time? You're a writer as well as a musician and singer. Yeah. You're a family woman. You've got, you're a mom and all that. Where do you find time to do any writing? I mean, I, it just baffles it's, me. It, it, me. Yeah, me too. It, it's uh, It's been a little hard this year because now I'm my own booking agent too. Really? So, yes. Yep. Just I can doing... I can handle this question if you'd like. Okay, go ahead. If you're driving in a car with Becky and you happen to be behind the wheel, try not to let her sit beside you. She will make you write a song with her, mm-hmm. whether you're ready or not. She mm-hmm. will just get her notebook out and make you write a song. It actually has turned out well because we've written songs that have that have done okay together. But but it's yeah, she'll write. It's better if she's not driving because she'll try to write a song while she's driving too. So, <laughs> so you might actually want to be the one behind. So, it. if you see a straight line and there's something about yeah, a pothole or I, I just was, ran a red light, you'll know where that song. Yeah, was several years ago, I was I was playing in Val's band and I was driving the van and we were driving through Marion, Virginia. And at that time, they still had the sign up that said Scratch Gravel Road, and we went past. It. I was like, oh, that's the song, and I and I started writing on it. I was like. Hand me a pen. And I think David Towsley was in the band playing bass at that time, and and uh, and he's like, "What are you? I'll write it for you. I'll write it down for you." I'll be like, "I'm actually driving the band, band and dictating, to dictate this song, Aww. Scratch Gravel Road, which, which ended up being a title cut for a special consensus album." Yep, awesome, mm-hmm. awesome. All right.